What is going on, guys? So today I'm going to be discussing a theory that I actually came up with yesterday in an interesting fashion, not how I usually do, and I guess there really is actually no method for how I come up with things that kind of just occur to me, which is pretty much exactly what happened yesterday. And I also probably shouldn't call it a theory because I got made fun of yesterday in my Discord for calling it that. It's more of like an analysis, really. But so what I'm going to be talking about is some reasoning I think that Fujitora might be one of the strongest characters in the entire series. I could actually see him being the strongest admiral. I'm not saying that that's what I think, but I'm saying that I don't think it's too far-fetched right now, especially with what I am about to tell you guys. So let me give you a little bit of a pre a backstory to how I came up with this or thought of this per se. So yesterday, I uh, well yesterday morning is when I went to bed, which was at about 4:30 in the morning. And then at about 10 a.m., my roommate comes into my room and wakes me up and says, uh, get up, we're going to the casino. To which I was like, why would I ever want to do that in a million years? And he told me that his roofing buddy is going, who I know goes all the time, and likes to play roulette. Now, I don't like playing roulette at all because it's pretty much just burning your money. However, I know that this guy, when he does particularly well, likes to give out $100 bills to his friends that are with him to celebrate. So I was like, okay. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll take a gamble. I guess I'm risking my time and I might get a lot of money. So sure, let's go to the casino, even though I am running on no sleep. Totally worth it, right? So we go and I watch and obviously the guy, you know, loses about $200 and he just makes a complete fool of himself the entire time. But I had never actually watched people play roulette before. So I did get to have that experience. And there is something that I noticed and related to One Piece. So in roulette, when you bet your money, you you know, a lot of people get to bet their money, they put it on whatever they're going to think, and then the dealer or whatever you call the person goes like this, and they say no more bets, and nobody's allowed to put any more bets on the table, they take a few seconds to gather their thoughts, or so, I don't really know what they're doing, and then they throw the ball. And I would say the time on average, or at least the range, I should say, between the period that you can no longer bet when they cut that off and the ball actually hitting a number is anywhere between like 15 at the bare minimum to about 40 45 seconds so it's a pretty long period of time even in the most minimum case so the thing is that there is a lot of time between there that you can't bet right now how does this apply to one piece well we have the scene where Fujitora, of course, the first time he's really introduced, he is playing roulette in Dressrosa. And he places his bets, and they do the thing, right? And he is correct every single time. Now, a lot of people like to think that this is because of the gravity fruit. Maybe he can use his observation hockey to feel which number is where, and he can make the ball just land using his gravity fruit on that. I think that that's kind of extreme, and I there's a lot of problems with that, really. But I guess that's a possibility. But I am thinking now, what if it's more likely that he is using future sight, right, and he can see an extended period into the future, significantly higher than Katakuri, at least maybe 10 seconds? I mean, I was giving the number 15 as the minimum, but it is, you know, a story, so there could be a little bit of a changes to it. Maybe 10 seconds, or maybe even more. Maybe it is like 20, 25 seconds or something crazy. I don't know. But what if he does have this absolutely insane future sight? What if that is what that scene was truly about? At the time, we had no way of knowing that's what was going on. But now that more information is being dispensed in the series, that is what we can gather from that scene. I've already said it in a lot of my videos in the past and in Discord discussions and whatnot, that I would probably put my money on Fujitora having the best observation hockey in the series. So if we're already in that ballpark, it's not that hard to believe that that's exactly what was going on there. What if he was using future sight and his future sight is like 15 to 20 seconds into the future? This would be absolutely game changing. I mean, when we see Katakuri for the first time, we learn that he can see five seconds into the future and we're like, okay, well, this is the most unstoppable ability we've seen in this series so far. That's just unbelievable. Like, what is anyone supposed to do about that? Of course, you know, then we do see how there are ways around it, and it's not quite as overpowered as initially thought. 
However, that doesn't mean that extending that time frame by a significant amount wouldn't be pretty drastic in combat. I mean, if he is able to see 15, 20, even just 10 seconds into the future, I mean, 10 seconds, that's like, that's pretty extreme. And the guy does seem to have like an iron will, so I'm sure it'd be a lot harder to shake him like Luffy was able to shake Katakuri and kind of prevent him from using his ability. So, with all this being said, right, if he does have the strongest observation hockey in the series, and he really is able to see that far using Future Sight, I think it's quite reasonable to believe there is a possibility that he could very well be the strongest admiral. And that even includes Akainu. I'm not saying that's what I believe. I'm saying it's very much a possibility. A lot of people seem to believe that there's like three tiers of admirals. There is Akainu and Aokiji, then there's Kizaru, and then there is Green Bull and Fujitora. I have kind of started to lean towards that, I suppose, but initially when I started making videos, I actually used to say that I think it was pretty clear that Ryokugyu and Fujitora were stronger than Kizaru, mainly because of what Dofi said in Dressrosa, which was when they were picked up by the Marines, they were the true beasts, right? They were true beasts. So I was like, cool, okay, I guess that they're just complete monsters. But then we had, like, Dofi kind of trying to fight Fujitora or something, so it wasn't really clear what was going on there. What kind of respect he was putting on Fujitora, I I couldn't really put a number on that. So I, I'm not sure exactly how I feel about it, where I would place them if I had to, but I'm just putting out the idea that I think it's possible that Fujitora could very well be the strongest admiral. Again, not saying I believe it, I just think it's very possible and something to consider. And I think it's pretty likely that he does have the strongest observation hockey. That That's quite crucial. I mean, we have four Yonkos, and if none of them have it, that's pretty impressive. If he's above all of them in observation, that's an amazing ability. Maybe you don't agree with that, but I think it's quite clear. I mean, the guy is blind and an admiral, so if you're going to be blind and be admiral-powered, you're going to have to somehow have your observation hockey so great that it pretty much makes being blind irrelevant, which being the strongest observation hockey user would seem to do it for me. I could accept that as making sense. Especially if you could see like 20 seconds into the future. That would be a pretty overpowered ability that would not just make up for the blindness, but make it, you know, pretty much irrelevant. Like, who really cares? So, I, that's pretty much where I was going with this. Again, I, I got made fun of yesterday because when I was pitching this idea to my Discord, I... I I described it as a theory. I said, oh, I came up with this new theory today. They said, no, this is not a theory. This is pretty obvious, if you ask me, which I guess it kind of is. I just had to make the connections. But nobody's been talking about this in the community as far as I've seen. So I just wanted to throw it out there. Let me know what you guys think if it really is just his gravity fruit, if you don't agree that this is observation hockey at all. You don't even think Fujitor is that strong, which doesn't make any sense. But, you know, maybe that's what you think. Let me know. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, leave me a comment letting me know what you thought about this, letting me know what you thought about these kind of videos I've been doing lately. Anything you'd like to see in the future, maybe a versus battle. I've been itching to do a versus battle, and I just kind of need uh, two good people to do against each other, so... Let me know what you guys are thinking there. I hope you guys have an excellent rest of your day, a good start to your weekend, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.